All right, so another um, background that you can do with this tool is just a simple stripe. So I am taking my alcohol inks and putting them in a row on my foam. And so the colors that I'm using here are lettuce, pesto, and citrus. I'm gonna put just a row of the blending solution. Now I did all three of the same color family. You could do all different ones. I'm trying to get a little bit of a little bit of a more subtle background so that I, it doesn't um, interfere with doing cards. Now you could also do like a wavy background if you wanted to. So you could do like, if you did it in blues, you could do some water that way. The one thing, oops, is I think a lot of people will start thinking um, plaid. And I'm just gonna show you what happens when you try to do a plaid with this. So once again, a little bit of blending solution. That stripe actually is a little bit more bold than my first one, but as soon as I go to do a plaid here, like there's a little bit of one, but it's definitely not a bold plaid. So it's going to be a lot more subtle, just so you know what happens. So I'm going to make cards out of these and then I will show you what I did. So this is what I ended up doing with them. I kept this one super simple. I took a moth die cut, only put on half because this is a particularly large one. And then I put some rock candy stickles on the body. It's still a little bit tacky, so I'm gonna wait till it dries completely. Um, but I wanted to have a little bit more texture on it, so that's what I did with that one. This one I ended up going all Christmas and put some Christmas die cuts with some holographic paper and some glitter paper. And then this is just gold stickles. You could just use a gold pen to um, do the strings on there as well. But I thought to tie it in a little bit with the gold of the paper and then I just added some of the gold stickles in the center of those two ornaments just to tie it all in as well. So there you go, another background with alcohol inks.